Well, hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be talking about this real ACC X210 frame. I just got one of these, and of course I came across this deal on Banggood, and I just want to go over the reasons why I think it's one of the best deals out there. For $113 here, you're getting an amazing amount of value. We're going to take apart each part of this offer, show you each individual component, and if you need to go beyond that, uh, I will, I'll let you know exactly what you need to get it set up for FBV as well. So this is the 210 millimeter real ACC airframe. It's a true X style frame. I'm currently building one of these frames as we speak, so I can tell you that the quality is quite impressive for what you pay for. That brings us to the Racer Star 30 amp BL Heli S ESCs. These are rated for 2 to 4S LiPo. I've used these in a few builds and I can tell you they're extremely smooth and very reliable. In the kit you also get these Racer Star 2205 2300 kV motors. Now if you want to choose a higher kV option they also have a 2600 kV motor option. To see a full review of these motors you can click on Albert Kim's channel. I'll put a card in the upper right hand corner. Okay guys this is the flight controller that the kit comes with. This is the SP racing F3 board. F3 boards are real common right now. Um, there's a lot of support for them, so that's why I recommend these. You can run beta flight or clean flight, your choice. These are the props that come in the kit. They're made by King Kong. I just did a review on these. You can click on the upper right hand corner for a quick tutorial on them. These are the 5x4x3 and I feel like they work the best with these type of motors. Okay guys, so that does it for this all-in-one package and you might be thinking if you're a beginner, you know, what do I need to do to be starting into racing and FPVs? So guys, as far as FPV gear goes, you're going to need a video transmitter. This is a fantastic one. This is the ET526 and what makes this VTX really nice is that it can run different milliwatt. So basically it can switch from 25 to 200 to 600 milliwatt and the reason that's important is sometimes you don't need long range and high power consumption. Sometimes you can just fly close by at 25 milliwatt or if you're at a race you can turn your milliwatts down. Now if you know you're going to go farther you can switch it all the way up to 600 milliwatt. And the other thing that makes this VTX really nice is push button controls on the back and the LED system that tells you what channel you're on. And speaking of channels, uh, this is the 40 channel which includes race band of course uh, and here's a quick chart on the way they organize their channels. So obviously you're going to need to see out of your copter so this is the Runcam Swift. It's a fantastic camera. It runs at about the $35 range. You can get smaller or cheaper uh, cameras but you want to keep it in this form factor because this is the type of camera that will fit this frame the best. So this is the last component that you'll need to complete your FPV system. These are higher quality antennas than the rubber ducky that comes standard with the VTX. Now that's the, on the copter side. Now if you don't have any type of FPV goggles or monitor, I am going to be suggesting a set of goggles similar to these. Um, these are about $99. Uh, they're a great value for money. Um, they pretty much tick all the boxes in the FPV goggle um, arena here. It has dual diversity, has a built-in DVR function, uh, a nice bright screen, and a nice lightweight. It's easy to wear. And the receivers receive the 40 channels that are coming from your VTX. Okay, guys, so that rounds out the FPV system. Now, if you are a true beginner and you have no equipment uh, as of yet, um, you're going to need a radio to control all of your models and that's why I would suggest the Tyrannus Plus radio system. This is the type of radio that is inexpensive and it will carry you through every single one of your models going forward in the future. This is a radio that I just picked up personally. I love it so far, um, but I'm going to be having a review coming up on my channel very soon. But the history of this radio makes it a rock solid performer. Okay guys, well we went on kind of a whirlwind journey there from a super simple kit to adding FPV, to adding goggles, and possibly a radio down the road. So I just wanted to include that information in case we had people out who are out there that are true beginners and don't have the equipment and don't have a direction on where to go with this stuff. So links, as always, are going to be in the description below. Thanks again for joining my channel, and I'll talk to you guys on the next video.